we took a trip over to Lynchburg, Tennessee to visit the Jack Daniels distillery. I don't know what to expect with the tour, but we're doing it. I'll show you around for the next five minutes or so. Hope you enjoy If it. you've never been to Lynchburg, this is what it looks like. That's it, everywhere. Just this. When you pull in, there's actually parking across the street, but it's easier just to uh, come right through this circle, drop a few people off, and head right in. This is what the inside of the main building looks like. Over to the right is where you check in. The girls there are amazing. They're the ones that told me about going down into town. There's all kinds of fun facts all over the place. They have a shop. This counter here is where you pick up your engraving. I'll talk about that a little later. And the White Rabbit Bottle Shop has some uh, bottles that you can only purchase uh, here at the distillery. And they also have some special editions like that McLaren bottle right there. And right over here at these iPads is where you uh, order up your engraving, decide what you want to write. The tour starts in the back of the building here in this little room. You get a quick debriefing and then they usher you off onto a bus. The bus drops you off about five minutes later, somewhere on the grounds. Kind of lost track where we were. That's one of the barrel houses. And the bus drives off and the rest of the tour is a walking tour. If you uh, can select to get the slushy, get the slushy. It's amazing. This whole first part of the tour talks about the charcoal and how they make the charcoal in that building right there. There's a little video you can see. I'll show you a bit of that in a minute. But right over here is the charcoal ready to be poured into uh, one of these filters. And that is definitely the uh, highlight of the whole first part of the tour is explaining this whole charcoal thing. They've got some merch here, lots of products, and the place is scattered with old stuff like that bench. Evidently they had their own fire department at one point, and from here we go over to the spring, which is the whole reason the distillery is located here. This spring is where the water comes from, and she tells you all about it. This little building, and you're going to catch a glimpse of this safe here in a minute, is Jack's first office. And that safe right there. He kicked it, and that's ultimately what led to his death. Each and every master distiller has learned this trade by working with whoever was before them. We cannot use phones once you're inside. And just to give you like a tidbit, this is not because we have secrets, it's a safety thing. Um, this building's flammable. She wasn't kidding about flammable. These buildings are hot. I mean, you feel like you're inside an engine or something. It's nothing but concrete, steel, steam, uh, pumps, noise. This view here of the rooftops is a good representation of what the inside of the building feels like. The other thing that you're thinking about is all of the Jack Daniels supplied to the entire world is created right here where you're walking. It's incredible. This building here is where they do the filtering. It's just a bunch of cylinders filled with charcoal that they drip the Jack Daniels down through. And here we're walking over to the next part, which is the uh, barrel making. The buildings that we were just in, one of them was where they uh, fermentate it. And then the other one was where they filter it through charcoal. They don't allow filming in there, but it was hot, very hot in both buildings super cool now we're headed over to see how they make the barrels this is a little bit of a stream or a moat that they have there's a little fish growing in there and we my wife and i kind of dragged behind there a little bit and turns out the barrel making is just a video but the bottling is coming right up and it is cool so this is especially cool to us because this is what my dad actually drinks and i guess they really like this stuff uh, as a company because they are labeling it, bottling it, uh, putting the cap on right here. My assumption is that every bottle of this stuff goes right through these people's hands on this conveyor belt and that's how it gets to the world. All from right here. It's about a 
I'd say about a hundred foot conveyor belt. It starts off with uh, with bottling and then ends with putting it in the boxes. You can kind of just see off to the left there, uh, those are the boxes. Really neat. Like I said, especially because this is the only stuff that we have uh, kicking around the house. This next building is where we do the tasting. And this is pretty neat actually, because this is the first day of this new first tour. So they're kind of learning as they go. And uh, this is kind of a staged warehouse. Those aren't real, those are real barrels, but they're not really full of uh, Jack Daniels aging. Um, this is kind of a glass partition so that they could keep this area air conditioned. And she did an amazing job explaining no the differences yeah. between all their different, uh, you know, varieties there in the tasting. This is this black stuff that's everywhere. And you would assume that it was soot, at least I did. It's not soot. Turns out there's this vapor in the air uh, from the distillery and there's a fungus that loves the vapor and it grows on everything. It's harmless, uh, but that's what it actually is. And here we are uh, back in the gift shop. I'm kind of geeking out over the architecture of the ceiling, waiting for my wife and her sister to get the uh, pictures that we took from the very, very beginning. They only let you engrave uh, the, this bottle uh, in three different sizes, but you can see how nice the engraving comes out. Pretty cool. All right, back where we started, and that was super cool. I would. Totally do this again even if you're not a jack daniels fan the tasting was cool i don't really like this stuff but my dad really likes it so uh we got him that engraved bottle that i showed you and um now we're headed into town evidently you cross this little bridge right right over there and you head down into town and it is the only town i asked the girls up front if there was some other thing to do here but evidently it's just Town. So that was the Jack Daniels Distillery Tour. A little bit of a view of the grounds and some fun facts, and I appreciate you watching. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. See you next time.